Hello everybody, my name is Jake and welcome back to my channel. Thank you to everybody who has been tuning in and if you are new here, I like to post two times a week about, about investing and about anything to do with finances pretty much. And if you like that kind of content, make sure you uh, like and subscribe. Uh, today what I want to be talking about is just an update on my portfolio. I haven't really updated you guys for quite a long time on how I'm doing in my portfolio. So I wanted to make sure I got some of that information out so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing and how far along I've gotten. Um, for you guys who don't know, I have been investing since about November of 2019. I have invested longer than that, but my current strategy of dividends has started in November of 2019 and has just about reached a year. So that is why I wanted to kind of give this update because I haven't done much of an update in my uh, portfolio for you guys. And then I just want to give a little background too of what, why I started dividend investing. So I started using Robinhood back 2009 or back in uh, 2014 when it came out. And I thought I would try my hand at day trading. Of course, I didn't know what I was doing. I learned, made a lot of mistakes, learned a lot of stuff. And I just wanted to stop pretty much betting my money and have a more long term sustainable uh, plan. So that's why I switched over into dividend investing. So that way I have that income coming in. So if worse comes to worse, anything happened, I couldn't put money in. I have that income still coming in to still reinvest. So I always am moving that ball forward in some way, shape or form. And it has blown my mind with how much I have been able to collect in dividends in just the short period of time that I actually have uh, even started investing in dividend stocks. So again, guys, I just wanted to give you an update and thank all of you for tuning in. All right, we'll get right into that, okay? So with this, guys, right here, I just wanted to give you a quick update on my top five holdings, as you can see, and kind of just go over them so you can see in full transparency what I have the most money in. Uh, first off, we have Microsoft here. They're in the tech sector, obviously. They have uh, cloud computing, things like uh, Windows, which I use, and Xbox, which I use as well. Um, they pay a quarterly dividend of 51 cents, and I do have four shares here. And then next we have Apple. They're also in the tech industry. Obviously, they have their iOS. They have their iPads, iPhones, things like that. And they pay a quarterly dividend of 82 cents. Now we have PowerShares, CEF, Income. Uh, they, ticker symbol PCEF. They are a high yield close end fund. They pay monthly and they pay a dividend of 0 0.13, so 13 cents. Next we have Cross Timbers Royalty Trust. Obviously they are a trust and they deal with timber. They pay monthly as well and they pay three cents per share. And I have 70 of those as well. And then finally guys, we have uh, Fiat Chrysler Automobiles. They are obviously automotive. I have 26 shares of those and they have uh, canceled their dividend for the year. Uh, but like I said guys, uh, Fiat Chrysler, they have got rid of their dividend for the year and I've owned them for uh, quite a long time. So I'm kind of holding on to those guys, hoping that uh, dividend returns as well. Next up, guys, we'll jump over to my spreadsheet here and we'll go over how much I've actually made this year so far. Uh, as you can see, I track all my dividends through these little columns here and it transfers over here to each month. And then if I'm positive or if I'm negative from the previous month, um, as you can see, my dividend has grown quite tremendously from $3.24 in January to just in September, I hit my record of $45.39. So this is in the span of nine months. I have grown that much essentially uh, because I really didn't start heavily investing in dividends until January. But as you see down here, I've made $164.72 since I've 
been putting my money into dividend stocks. And all this money, every single cent that I have made has been plowed right back into my dividends. So that just goes to show that it helped or into my stock. So that just goes to show that it helps grow so much faster just over that short period of time. And if you look at July, I've mentioned this before, but I over doubled in just two months uh, what I had been paid, being paid in dividends. And we can even go down here and this is my growth for my dividends over the course of the year in a more visual uh, aspect. And then here were my projections. So I took the first two quarters of the year and just had Excel autofill the second two just so it would predict what I would be averaging for the each quarter. And then I took what I actually make and this is what it says I will average in my final quarter per month. So that is quite awesome. Down here you can see where these averages come from. Uh, and something I just kind of did for fun was I broke down how much I make a month, a day, an hour, and a second. So that way it's just something funny to look at so I can see how my dividends are growing over time. And it just makes me go go want to look at it once in a while. And then finally, guys, I just kind of wanted to jump over to trackyourdividends.com just so I can show you how much I am making annually off my dividend portfolio. Uh, I see I have a total of 11,000, almost 12,000 invested in strictly dividends. And that brings me to an average, or I'm sorry, an annual income of $844. So if you break that down per month, if I just left it right now, I'd be averaging about about $70 a month. Uh, and I'm really hoping to have this annual income. I'm really pushing to get it up to uh, 1200 by the end of the year so I can get that average up to $100 a month because that, that would be mind-blowing to me to have my money making me $100 a month. That is crazy in my opinion you have it guys there is everything i wanted to show you for the most part um thanks for tuning in again guys i really appreciate everybody again like subscribe if you have not in the description down below as well there will be a link for my robin hood a link for my acorn uh you get free stocks and uh, five dollars for those that acorn is going to charity at the end of the year half of that and then also, you have the Yada down below. If you're in the U.S., you can do that. You get 100 free tickets. I get 100 free tickets. It's all good. And on top of that, guys, I just wanted to give a shout out to my buddy TJ. He is having a little bit of a rough time. His car truck blew uh, his motor the other day. So I just wanted to say, hey, man, you're going to make it through it. You're going to crush it. You're going to get past this party. It kind of sucks right now, but you're going to do it. All right, guys, with that being said, peace.